Hey guys, it's been a little while since I've done a video, but the holidays and the kids home from school and stuff has been kind of hard. My next goal was to get this toilet, this uh, 1976 pink color Rochelle that was busted, uh, hooked up to the water uh, outside here and do a flush test with it. But we've had some real severe cold, been getting down in the single digits at night and crap and snow and sleet, ice, you name it. So I just didn't worry about it right now. Until we get some warmer weather, I'm really not going to put any water in this. But uh, I've had some people ask me about taking this, how do you take these valves out of like these Rochelles and the, and the Kohler Pompton? Um, if you guys watch Vintage Kohler, he has a lot of information on these Kohler Rochelles. I'm not going to get into that because when other people have good videos on there, there's no point in me repeating the same thing. I, you know, I'll just make videos of stuff that people maybe didn't do or maybe there's a different way. Some people can try some stuff, but, um, but I will show you real quick. Um, the, you have to take this uh, flush ball here, screws onto this metal rod right here, your little rod, if you can see that real well. It'll screw off, just threads on there, and then inside here there's a little lug, there's a bolt, there's a screw there, you can see it, maybe barely, and then there's a wing nut down there. That wing nut will spin around, that bolt will come out, and this will lift right out. And then this just slips into this here, and there's no nut down underneath of that. Uh, this tube on this valve just goes to this plastic sleeve here. So that nut that's down there is to hold the plastic sleeve. This valve will slip out. But uh, Vintage Kohler's got some videos where he had his out of his and stuff. And Kohler Pompton, I think, is the same way. So uh, just check that out. Just thought I'd do a quick little answer somebody's question. But yeah, watch those videos. Um, and something else I just noticed, and this was by accident. <laughs> Somebody else may have known this. I sat this old toilet seat on here. Uh, off of another toilet and look at that I didn't notice it but uh the holes line up so you could actually I guess temporarily bolt a uh, regular toilet seat on your Rochelle if you got one that's got a busted seat so and I guess you, you know it'd get you by until you could get the original color seat for it you might be able to get an elongated one too that might fit it a little bit better doesn't quite cover it but man in an emergency if your seat busts and you got to use it that would work I, I didn't even notice it until I sat it under I'm like hey those line up <laughs> you could bolt it down so yeah we get some warmer weather at least a day or two where it's well above freezing i can get my garden hose thawed back out and unrolled and hooked up temporarily we'll put this back together and we'll do a flush test i'm wanting to see how this thing flushed because i and i'm sure it'll hold water i mean i got that tank plastered i'm not worried about it leaking i just want to do a flush test so all right guys well there you go like i said uh, you want any more information on these real shells watch vintage colors videos and um uh, I'll be glad to answer anybody's questions I can. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Somebody had asked about how to take that out. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for some more videos.